Now, 15 new polyclinics are to be constructed in the central and greater Accra regions at the cost of 37 million euros. According to a statement signed by the Minister of Communications, Dr. Omani Buama, the construction of the new health facilities will help improve access to quality health care delivery and to help tackle the challenges with maternal mortality and infant mortality. But why central and greater Accra regions? What criteria was used in arriving at a decision to take 10 of the 15 to central region alone? Political conspiracists who also have us believe that there is more to it than just healthcare provision. We'll find out right here on today's Big Story with me, Stephen Enti. Today's big story is brought to you in association with nationwide PVC suppliers and fabricators of high-grade UPVC doors and windows. Now, 10 communities in the central region are to benefit from a 37 million euro government project to construct 15 new polyclinics. The communities are Wan Gumwa, uh, Driampong, Bisiasi, Briwa, Echi, Sunkwa, Esikuma, Jamena, Aguna, Driakwa, uh, Bingpong, uh, Akonfode, uh, Ekunfi, Nakwa and Nichifu, uh, Atimokwa and Gomwa Potin. Now, the remaining five polyclinics will be sited in Adenta, Shaman, Botiano, Odumang, and Sege. Uh, we're going to get onto the phone lines now and get some answers from government. Uh, but Atu Sapon, who is Deputy Communications Minister, we are not getting him. But we have in the studio with me uh, Achibald Adams, who is from the Universal Access to Health. Boss, it's great to have you back here again. Thank you, Stephen. Now, critically, I do know that uh, government has an agenda to, to reduce maternal mortality and uh, infant mortality. So for many people who hear this news, this should come as good. But the key question is that 10 of these uh, health facilities are going to the central region. Sure. I mean, I mentioned the names of these, these no, communities. Sure. And then five in Accra. Do you see this distribution as disproportional or you think that's okay okay thank you for the mm. opportunity good evening mm. to your list mm. um, your viewers um, for the campaign we see it as a welcome news okay but then just as you have stated we are wondering why 10 in central region exactly. and then five in greater Accra region um, when we look at the health manifesto mm. of the NDC it says mm. Establish new district hospitals and more polyclinics in each of the 10 regions. Mm -hmm. So we are asking that if government is going to establish 10, mm -hmm. 10 polyclinics in central region and 5 in the greater Accra region, what happens to the rest of the regions? Yeah. And then also to let you know that um, Upper West does not have a polyclinic. At all? Yes. So what happens to them? So that's what, what, that is what the campaign yeah. has, what wants to ask the government that's this right. evening. I mean, so what? I mean, you're, you're wondering why one place has 10 yes. and another place has none at none. all. Upper yes. West region doesn't have. No. So the whole of WA doesn't have a policy. No, what they do have are district hospitals. And chip district, compounds. Yes, and then chip compounds. But not polyclinics. Not polyclinics. So we are asking, maybe government has other plans under mm. its sleeve. Mm. We welcome the news, but we are asking that what went into deciding that Central region should get 10 more polyclinics and then Greater Accra should get five more polyclinics. Well, we're, we're still trying to get the government to get onto the telephone and sure. explain these bits to us. But from your campaign, Universal Access to Education, do you not see that these communities, I mean, many of these communities that uh, have been mentioned, yeah. I know I know these communities. I'm told that uh, Atto Sapon, who is the Deputy Communications Minister, is joining us now on telephone. Good evening, sir, and thanks for joining us. Hello, good evening. So, my key question, which uh, my guest in the studio is also asking, is what informed the decision of government to uh, mm -hmm. take 10 of these 15 polyclinics to the central region alone? Uh, Stephen, good evening, and thank mm -hmm. you for calling me. Let me start by saying that uh, you and I know that it is not possible for government uh, to do everything at a go. Mm. We need to prioritize projects and uh, we need to go step by step as, as a government. Uh, our analysis indicates that uh, the central region, for example, is one of the most deprived regions in terms of healthcare. Okay? And so for us, 
to be able to deliver health care across the entire country, we need to go region by region, district by district, step by step. I can understand what uh, the gentleman in the studio is saying, that uh, perhaps from his own analysis, there are some regions that probably uh, do not have it. Uh, but we've also done our analysis. And uh, from the analysis that we have carried out, we believe that citing 10 of these uh, polyclinics in central region and five in Accra, 15 in total, mm. is the way to go as a first step in addressing all the health issues around the country. So my, you, my yeah. minister mm. yesterday had indicated that the intent was around resolving the, some of the challenges uh, regarding the Millennium Development Goals 4 yeah. and 5. That's right. Uh, and that's what he put out yesterday. And that's what informed the decision. Uh, in deciding to do 10 in Central and 5 in Accra. So it means that I, I, I needed to get a little more explanation on the criteria. I mean, you you, you made reference to the Millennium uh, Development, Development Goals, goals four, 4 and 5. Four and five. Beyond that criteria, right. does it mean that you, you see in your assessment or research, you see the Central Region as the worst areas to suffer maternal mortality or maternal death or antenatal fatalities of any kind? I, I always, in answering questions of this nature, want to uh, bring all of us, uh, turn our attention to the issues around resource uh, prioritization. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, what you see uh, based on what you are standing, completely different from what we see based on where we are standing. As, as a government, our preoccupation is ensuring that across uh, the nation, we at least provide our people uh, equal opportunities uh, to health services. It is based on that that uh, we have decided that uh, Central Region for the first 15, 37 million that we want to invest in the 15 uh, polyclinics that we want to put across, Central Region and Greater Accra will be the first beneficiaries. That does not mean that that's the end. Obviously, we'll be looking at the other places. We'll be looking at uh, 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 the north. We'll be looking at the middle belt mm -hmm. in the country. And all of them will have their their fair share. But let's not criticize that. Why are you doing 10 in Central? Why are not doing it here? We'll satisfy everybody. We cannot satisfy everybody uh, uh, with the word go. We, but we need to go step by step. Right. Step, step, let's, step, not, yeah. let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not change, let's not bring a different dimension uh, to the initiative of government. It's a good initiative. It's towards ensuring that we achieve some of our objectives and meet some of the Millennium Development Goals. We've started from Central Great Accra. We'll definitely be looking at the other regions. All right, so where is the money going to come from? I know the, the minister's press release statement didn't tell us where the money is going to come from. Where is the 37 million euros coming from? I think we have indicated that it's a, it's a 37 million euro facility. Obviously, a facility of this nature will be, will be championed by the Ministry of uh, finance. It, it, is, it was a cabinet decision that was made yesterday. Um, I know you are looking for, for, for the details of it. I am sure uh, by Monday, Tuesday, we'll be mm -hmm. able to put up uh, more details as to answer the questions you are, that the answers that you are seeking. Right. Atul, there are also the political conspiracies. I know that you yes. just told me that we shouldn't read any other meanings. But let's look at it this way. Central Region is a key, uh, a key election bet for all the mm. political parties, MPP and N NDC. So Steven, for election, you to dis election, election mm. is two and a half years away. It is, election but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you won't be preparing. Does it mean you won't? But it doesn't mean, it doesn't also mean that as a government, we're voted in for for a four-year mandate, mm -hmm. and as a government, our responsibility is to ensure that we deliver to the people of this country from the day the president was sworn in till the day before the president leaves office. Mm. So between the day he was sworn in and the day the president is supposed to, supposed to take a second term, um, definitely uh, our responsibility is to ensure that we provide the services that Will, right. be, will be elected to provide. So it doesn't really matter whether it's, 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 uh, it's because of election. I think that, that, that analysis and the way 
where you are you are picking the question from would would would, would take the whole discussion into politics and it's mm. an area i don't want to go into right um as about we're grateful but i'll have you hold briefly i still have um uh, my guest in the studio and we'll raise key issues with him and then we'll later come back to you for some clarification before we let you off the line uh, so you okay. you heard you heard uh, at support yes uh, saying that they have to government has to prioritize yeah. it's fair to prioritize yeah. but your key concern is in prioritizing what informed the decision to yeah. cite it in the central region you're still yeah. not convinced well um let me say thank you to mm. Arto for um, explaining but for us as a universal access to healthcare campaign we are talking about equity mm. and then equal access we are we, we want government to do more we we'll work on this news like i said but we are still questioning why 10 in the central region let me just read a couple of their campaign campaign their health campaign um, promises mm. Establish regional hospitals in eastern region at Koforidia and the upper east region at Bogatanga and complete the regional hospital project in Wa in the upper west region. This has not been done. We think that government can do more. And if the, the focus is to achieve MDG 4 and 5 professionals at these polyclinics... Well, the, the government doesn't have four years now. The government no, has two, two years. years. What mm. I mean is that it's timing is within its time mm. to, to, to fulfill its promises. Mm. So beyond establishing these polyclinics and then the others that are yet to be rolled up, we are asking that government should do more, ensure that at least every district has one medical, trained train medical doctor, mm. and then other essential officers, and then also ensure that we have the necessary equipment because it is, it is good building the, the facility, but it's another maintaining and ensuring that it's functioning and then helping to save life. Mm. Ato, Ato, if you're still there, I want to ask I'm you here. a key question. He, he made that, reference that, 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 to... Stephen, Stephen yeah. one, one minute. If, yeah. if I can just, I can just uh, uh, respond to uh, the, 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 your guest in the studio's yeah. uh, concern uh, before you ask your question. I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, if you look at... If you look at the areas that we are, we, the, the communities that we are looking at in the central region, mm. I don't know if your guest in the studio has ever visited any of these areas. Well, I mean, I, I, have. I have been there. I come, I come from the central region. And yeah, I've I been know to, these places too. Yes, I've been I've to, to most of the places. And yeah. I can tell you that it's, it, it, I mean, denying our people the uh, uh, health care, we should be happy that government is, is looking at facilitating health care for our people in these communities. Mm. Having said that, let me say that the, the, the government of His Excellency President John Mahama is, is committed to the promises and the commitments that he made uh, during, during the campaign in our manifesto, as well as uh, the State of the Nation Address, uh, which he delivered in 2013. And all those promises that is indicated are things that we are seriously working on and, and will deliver. I've heard him talk about uh, the promises uh, in respect of uh, some health care that we had promised in certain areas, mm. and he's not seeing any sign of it, but he's seeing this one. But Let me I, I assure him but that we are, working, we are working seriously at addressing mm. all, all the concerns that we have as a people. Thought, but back to my initial my initial point, we can't do all at a go. I agree. We'll, yeah. we'll do it in face. Mm. Also, I agree that you can't do all at a go, and you need to prioritize. You've made that very clearly. Now, the reference to the fact that you made promises, you made promises to finish a re regional hospitals, eastern region, upper east region, and then upper west region. Nothing has been done for the sake of equity. Nobody who is in the border region or in upper west region would would be happy to hear that ten. Of these polyclinics are going to just one region that should bother you actually as a government yeah that should that <laughs> really i i don't know why 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 because you see we have a plan mm. as as a government we, we we have information that most people really do not have mm. and uh, we know where 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 the critical needs are where uh, 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 our initiatives are most 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 required and, and that forms the and, basis and, and, for some of the decisions. Healthcare in that, Wa is not critical. Healthcare in Hoa region is not critical. I'm not critical. saying it's not critical. It's critical. But the point is that the man who lives or the woman who lives in Water region, mm. now realizing that government has, has taken initiative of resolving the issues in Central region, should be happy because as soon as that is resolved, we'll, we'll move to the next region. We'll move mm. to the next region. So definitely, it will get to your turn. Your issues. Right. 
will be resolved. But we need to start somewhere. If we had started in the Volta region or we had started in Upper East, I can bet you, Stephen, you'll be having a conversation with someone else in your studio asking why we didn't start in, in, in Central region so, or why we didn't start in Eastern region. So, so when, these, when concerns, are you, when are you these concerns mm. would, would always come up. But as, as a people, my, 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 my humble uh, plea uh, to all Ghanaians is that we can't do it all at a go, but just be patient with us. We'll resolve all the challenges and the problems, the commitments and the promises that His Excellency made. I can assure you that he's working seriously at fulfilling all of them. Right. And we'll so, fulfill them. Right, I know. I mean, you have two years. So if you say you're working seriously, you'll fulfill them. The key question is, when are the rest, yeah. rest of your, your promises going to be rolled out? You have made promises to construct regional hospitals. Is it to say perhaps two years is not enough to do everything, so you might have to perhaps revisit these no, promises? That's, that's why I said we don't, we, we don't have a two-year mandate. Neither mm. do we have a two-and-a-half-year mandate. We have a four-year mandate. So we didn't, we didn't have four years. Whatever is, is humanly possible, within the constraints of our time to deliver, we'll deliver. Mm. But you can't tell us when, right? I mean, when you can, I mean, adequately deliver to some of the communities who are expecting, actually. No, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't on this conversation give you specifics as mm. to specific things. Mm. What I can tell you is that the president is committed to the promises that he made and as a government, we've been working seriously uh, to ensure that the promises and the commitments that he made to the people of this country are fulfilled. Mm. Right. Right. So, Atul, I know that you're not in charge of the health ministry, and so this technical issue of how well these uh, polyclinics will be placed and what type of facility might be a little out of your purview. But do you have a plan you can share with us what kind of facility you are putting up? I mean, if we take a typical polyclinic, what comes to mm. my mind is Adabraka Polyclinic, uh, exactly. Karneshi Polyclinic. These are exactly. small polyclinics that serve um, communities. Is this mm. the type? You are thinking of citing in these let areas? Me, even, let, let, me, let me give you one typical example. Mm. Even, if, even if you got a doctor, a doctor sitting in a, in a, in a, in a healthcare facility, mm. listening to patients and offering medication and uh, carrying out simple tests as mm. checking for, for temperature and all of that and ensuring that you give some, some, some medication here and give some prescriptions here, in our villages, if you've traveled around the country, in our villages, that will go a very long way to resolve some of the challenges that we have. Mm -hmm. People are dying because of lack of little, little medication mm -hmm. required to make them stay healthy. Yeah. That is what, as, as a people, we should, be, we should be worried about. But we should That's, also be worried whether government has done sufficient feasibility studies, which are the doctors that will be placed to these hospitals. No, I whether, think, I think mm. you, answered, you, answered, you answered that question for me when you said that uh, probably uh, I'm, not, I'm not with the health ministry, <laughs> so not in a position to provide you all the details. But what I can tell you is that uh, 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 the Ministry of Health uh, uh, are working seriously on this they already have the, the the plan as to what to do government will not be approving cabinet will not be looking at just approving a number without without the details this but was at, all, at the cabinet but meeting I, yesterday but all, i'm sure that as uh, coming from the communications ministry you may have had adequate briefing from the health ministry if you are putting out such an important policy decision and announcing yes 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 we have that we mm. have that and uh what 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 the example that you gave I mean, um, if you look at the Braca Polyclinic, for example, it's, it's a well-resourced polyclinic by all standards. And uh, if you look at the, the number of people who, who troop to the Braca Polyclinic every day, in and out, that gives you an indication of what we intend to put out in mm. some of these communities. Mm. So uh, let me assure you that it will, it will be um, a standard polyclinic right. that will be in a position to offer um, medical services to the people in those communities, as anybody mm. sitting in Accra would enjoy working to Adabaka Polyclinic. Ato, are you able to stick a timeline to this? I mean, I know it's early days, but can you tell us six months, seven months, eight months, two no, years? But, that but, you, but can... you, you, you already know that a uh, uh, process, uh, a facility like this will have to go through a certain process. 
we have to go through the, the constitutional processes to get a facility like this approved uh, mm. before the necessary uh, arrangements and uh, drawdown and uh, uh, award of but, contract but, for building but your, the site. your consultants all gave that, you projections, I reckon, and it looks place. like you just announced this without waiting. No, the... all of, that, that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you some, some timeline. Right. right? The, necessary, the necessary constitutional requirements for a facility of this nature mm. will have to be followed. Yeah. That's the first step. Okay, what we've put out there is that we are contracting a facility of 37 million towards the construction of 15 mm. polyclinics in central mm. and greater Accra region. For the people of Ghana, I think that is, that is uh, information enough for the people in the central and greater Accra region to mm. be assured that government is indeed doing something about medical facilities and medical services in these two regions. That's the first step. Right. Then we have to go through in getting the necessary approvals, a process we have to go through in selecting uh, entities to even build the facilities. So you and I know, it's just like you building a house and securing a, a facility from, from a bank. You would have done your drawing and other things, go to the bank and get the facilities. Right. But if someone will have to approve until the approval process takes place and the go-ahead is given, by by parliament uh, right. at that point we cannot we cannot assess and draw down the right. facility support, we're grateful to start the project. we apologize that's all time will allow us we're very grateful and this this what you said what you have said actually suggests that there's more to it than yeah. just uh, putting out an announcement sure. are you impressed um the campaign is not <laughs> Why are you not, not impressed? Well, I mean, you're getting 10 in central region. Other regions will have to wait. Government is going through all the processes to make sure everything is intact. It makes sense, the doesn't N it? The NDC government has two years. Uh, to finish, right, and to then there will be elections. There will be elections. What we're just asking is that you made some promises. Two years, have, two years have gone down the lane. And then we are now going to start the process of going to parliament, um, going for procurement and all the processes. It could probably you, take us to the mm, end of the year. You, you feel that moving away from their key manifesto promise has been the big problem because if they had stuck to the manifesto promise of perhaps uh, do sorting out the regional, and upgrading then, the regional hospitals, yes. the existing facilities that are struggling, expanding them yes. rather than pushing 10 in yeah. one place, 5 in another place, you think that it could have been I better? I think that, that would, would have been better and mm. that would rather improve accessibility to healthcare. Don't forget the campaign is just asking for equal accessibility, equal accessibility. to all Ghanaians. As so, well, Adams, I'm afraid time will, will not permit us to go too far. We, we made uh, several attempts to get to the Ministry of Health itself, and uh, we agreed earlier to speak to Dr. Richard Adani, who is a former uh, Minister of Health under the MPP administration, who had key issues to raise about the timing and the sighting of these uh, 15 polyclinics. My name is Stephen Enti. We'll bring it down here, and we'll be back with an interactive segment if uh, we'll join me. Stay with us.